Hello fellow guitar geeks. Picture this, you've just assembled your pedal board with all your favorite pedals necessary for that small fly rig, and then you realize you need another pedal. What do you do? Do you get another pedal board? Or do you expand the pedal board that you already have? Well, with the new Daddario expand board, you can do just that. Ugh. Yeah, so Daddario sent me an expand one and asked me if I would check it out mainly because I am hugely skeptical of the idea of an expandable pedal board. For me, I would rather have a pedal board that is the right size for my pedals or a pedal board that's slightly too big and then fill in the gaps when needed. But I do understand that some of you might think this is a good idea and also I might change my mind. So in this video, I'm going to open this up, show you what you get in the box, then assemble it, which as a Lego fan sounds like a lot of fun. And then we're gonna put some pedals on it. This one goes from 14 inches to 24 inches, and it's got two rails, so you can fit, I guess, I don't know, one pedal on. So this is the smaller one, expand one. So there it is, okay. Assembly instructions, that's always good. The Lego lover in me is extremely excited, although I guess it's more Meccano. Woo, look at that. Okay, so we've got some Allen key, hex key thing here and then some, what look like screws, and some Velcro tape, and then some pedal organizing stuff, and some more Velcro tape. And here's the, wow, that's, that's weighty. That's not heavy, heavy, but certainly a little weighty. Some more Velcro tape for uh, assembling stuff. Then we've got the sides, and that must be the middle-y side bit, okay. And then in here are the main rails. I gotta say, that is heavier. I mean, I, I felt the box, of course, but it seems heavier than I than I thought it would be. All right, anything else? Nope. Now I will say, if you don't like assembling things, if you like everything to be ready out of the box, this probably isn't for you, but I'm, I'm one of those people that likes putting stuff together. I'm gonna start, I guess. I'm gonna put that to one side. That's the cable management stuff. And that's the Velcro stuff. So let's tidy up. And then that one there. Oh, that's cool. It's got a little wheel so you can adjust the height uh, of the back of the wheel, of the back of the foot, sorry. That's very cool. So I was pushing this. I was expecting it to be a pushy thing, but it's actually a clip that you can then slide out like that. So I'm gonna slide it out because if you don't, these two screws here get in the way of side, assembling the side panel. I'll admit, I'm already more uh, more excited by it just because I get to put it together. If you like putting things together, um, then this this might be for you because I'm having fun. I can't stop smiling like a Cheshire cat and I'm just assembling a pedal board. So already I'm more warmed to the idea of the expand board. What is wrong with me? Then this middle section goes in the middle, so that's gonna, I guess, slide, ha oh, ha, yes, slide through there. This bit's not so fun, because with my sausage fingers, you gotta slide those down in these screws, bolts, sorry, down in there. And then that, ah, oh, that's why this thing is so long, because you need to, aha, uh -huh. ah, uh-oh, lost forever. Got a bit cocky then and tried to put two in at the same time. Focus on one thing at a time, Andrew. There we go. Still, inside, I'm trying not to grin, but inside, let me tell you that I'm grinning so hard because I'm enjoying putting this together, even though I seem to be dropping things everywhere. Yeah, that's that's a bit fiddly, that. Maybe if I need to, yes, get that out of the way. Push that down, there we go, aha! Right. Push those down and that makes this a lot easier, but then getting it out could be a bit more of a pain in the bum. Let's get that down in there like that. Screw it in, pull it out, in, pull it out, and then make it level, lock it, now the side pieces. These bits of the sides are super easy. So that's, that's so satisfying. 
so satisfying. Okay, time to make them tight. And I'm gonna tighten it to the point where the Allen key almost bends. There's the board, like so. So that slides in, in and out. That's quite tight, my goodness. That's good. I wanted it to be tight. And now we need to put these little spacer thingies in. Now, before you put these cable clips in, please note that there are two big ones and two small ones. So the, the small ones obviously go in the small place and the big ones go in the big place. So let's pop that in there. Yes. You have to push it a little harder than, than I want to. I don't want to be pushing it that hard. Come on, get in there. And then you put your cable down through there. Oh, that's very satisfying. And then you've got cable management. Okay, and then I guess for storage, if you want to make that, goodness, if you want to make that all the way small again, yes, then you close that up. So let's put some pedals on. We've got the ripped speaker. We've got the FZ2, the Carcosa, could probably fit one more on there. Yes, the B-Tronics, but look, I'm out of space. I need to put more fuzzies on my board and I can't. So what do I do? I move them over a little bit and then I, cracky, I, uh, may have done that too tight. Uh, okay, that's quite tight. Whew, expand that. And then I've got all the space here for more fuzzies. I've got all the space here for more pedals. So I can quite comfortably fit seven fuzz pedals on this board. And then if for some reason I want to take two off, I just do that and then unclip and then push it in, reclip. Okay, I've, I've warmed to the idea. To sum up the review, the build quality could not be better, I don't think. The Dario have done a fantastic job. The only off-putting thing about the Expand stuff is the price. I think that 99 bucks for this is okay. Another 99 bucks for the bag. I can't review it, I don't have it, but that's 200 bucks already. And then the Expand 2, 360 bucks. That is a lot of money, but if it solves your problem, then it is absolutely worth it. So if you think that the Expand series is something that will fix your pedal woes and you have the money, then go for it. Something I almost forgot to mention is that you do get the other side of the Velcro to put on the backs of your pedals and that seems good quality. But a big thing for me is the packaging that Dodari have used. It's all cardboard packaging and therefore all recyclable. And that is something that some companies could really take a page out of Dodario's book and make sure that packaging is not ridiculously full of plastic and harmful to the earth. So Dodario, massive plus points for making all your packaging recyclable. Now I think I'm gonna be using this at trade shows and gear events. So like when I go to Henning's Gear Street, I can take this, I can put my, my HX Stomp on there as my brain or my ACS1 and then have a recorder on there as well. And then when I get a pedal to demo, I can just unclip that, get a bit of a chest exercise and stick the pedal on the side, clip a camera to it, and I can make videos for you. If you want fly rigs and stuff, then this this could be the perfect fly rig pedal board. So that's it from me and the Dodario Expand 1. If you want more information and up-to-date pricing, there are links in the video description. Otherwise, I'll see you in one of those videos or in the future if you click that subscribe button. Bye-bye.